so for instance, I know for a fact there are um, these uh, prosthetic legs and arms that become part of like the neurons uh, or the nerves inside of your body so yeah. that you can actually feel when you're touching something, even though it's a robotic arm. So, so not only can people control these prosthetics with their thoughts because it's in, integrated into their nervous system, but they can feel stuff. Like yeah, that, 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 that's crazy. Right? I mean, obviously the expense of that is super high. So not everybody is able to have that. So the prosthetic legs that commonly are more commonly used are not that way. Um, but we have those and the ability to do those, but it's not accessible to all. So mm -hmm. it's not as commonly used. Also, bionic eyes for people who are blind. That's I, a I've thing seen some as well. articles about that. Yeah. Yeah, which would be amazing, right? To give the people ability to see that don't have the ability to see. Um, to give the people ability to to be like be able to bend their ankles, for instance. When you do have a prosthetic leg, you don't have the ability to bend the joints down there because there's no joints there when you have a prosthetic leg. But there are robotic legs that do that for them. Um, mm. And again, the expense is crazy, so it's not as accessible for all. So those kind of technologies like give people more points of articulation so that their prosthetic limbs behave more like natural limbs. Correct. Interesting. Super neat.